Hello Guardians, it is Pax here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to be a better sword bearer in the Crota's End Raid. Now evidently we are not going to be going into the raid in order to show you this. Today I'm going to be going to the Sword of Crota mission on the moon, where I will show you in depth how to be a better sword bearer with tips and tricks that I've learned. Okay Guardians, now we are at the area. So once you come into this area, I have actually spawned a little bit closer than other people will. You actually spawn at the uh, patrol spawn area in order to get to this area. So you'll have to travel a little bit of ways and kill a herb prince in order to get the map marker to get here. But don't fret. Once you get here, you're actually going to kill all of the adds inside here so that when you're back in this hall over here, they do not attack you. Once you enter this room, you're going to do the same with the last. You're going to kill all the adds in here, otherwise it won't allow you to pick up the sword. The sword. Once you've cleared all the ads, you're going to pick up the sword and you're going to run straight to the back of the room where you entered in. Now, there will be some thrall that might come after you, but don't worry, you can kill them real quick or even use them for target practice. Once you've grabbed the sword, you're going to use this long hallway right here as a practice area. Now, this is where I'm going to show you the tips and tricks that I've learned and mistakes that I've actually learned from. Now, back in the day, when Crota's End first came out in year one, I actually had never touched a sword, so I had no idea how the mechanics worked, what happened, and whatnot. And the other day, I was using this sword in the uh, Abomination Heist, and uh, I just, I thought, wow, I could do this trick. And it, this is basically what I was doing. I was swinging from left to right really fast. Now... You can't actually see it unless you're trying really hard and you're a sword bear and you've done it, you know, a few times now of Tac Crota with a sword. But you're actually going about 33% faster with your swings when you do that. Now, the downside to this is you can't actually swing like that when it comes to attacking Crota. There's a couple reasons why. Number one, if you're swinging like this, there's a fact that you might swing too far away from Crota on the back swings and end up not damaging him at all. Now, number two, you can't even swing like that because you have to be too far away. And when you're up there and attacking him, ah, die a little throng. <laughs> Get away. Don't want you here. When you're actually up there attacking him, the sword will make you face front forward and attack him. Now, this is a little bit of a letdown because I thought, man, I could just swing back and forth, back and forth, go crazy with it, go crazy with it. And I do know of one instance that I've seen this work, but I don't think that the person hit them more than half the time when they were trying to actually swing at Crota. Now, the way that I am going to teach you how to do this, it's a little more normal to most people. Now, when you're actually attacking Crota, most people, they just click trigger, click trigger, click trigger and you see how slow that is I got three in about hmm, roughly three and a half to four seconds now if I do this trick it's slightly faster now I did four that time but just to show you it takes some time to get in the rhythm and I haven't even perfected it and that's why I come here to practice every time I go into a right before I go into a ring I'm actually going into a rhythm here and you'll see on the last two swings I actually swing a little bit faster than I did before now that's not because each time you swing you get faster at swinging it's because each time you swing you get a little bit more used to the rhythm that the sword has to it it's the same thing with the left and right technique I just showed you I'm swinging super fast and going crazy with it. the only reason is I you actually swing faster when you're swinging left and right or back and forward you swing a little bit slower, but you have to do this in order to attack Crota when you swing forward. Now, the way I do this is I actually get my left analog stick, my movement stick, you know, moving forward like this. I actually tap it just like this. You'll see my character move a little bit. I'll just tap it forward the second I pull the trigger in order to smash the sword. And you'll see a difference. I'll do it without the sword, and here we go. Here's without the sword, without the trigger. You know, normal as usual. Now, here's with the forward movement. 
Now, I do four because you can actually do four in that amount of time that crowd is there. And now you're thinking, well, I know a lot of people who, you know, swing four times and they don't use that technique. Well, how many people do you know have whole told you about the technique that they use? Now, I'm going to show you the smash technique that I use. It's actually pretty similar to the normal one, but I'm going to explain why certain people should swing this way. And a lot of people don't know, like, when to use a smash. A lot of people just use it right away, and then they continue swinging after that. You know, the, on the second phase of Crota, when you've got the super and you smash on him, a lot of people don't know that you should swing normal swings like this before you use a smash. And, and it was a surprising amount of number of people that I ran with that didn't know that. So here's what I'm going to show you. It's going to be one, two, three hits, smash, and then a fifth hit. So here we go. We're going to go one, two, three, four, smash, hit. Now you'll see on that third hit, my hit didn't actually connect with the ground. Now that was mostly because of the terrain and it being uneven, but that's another thing you have to be careful with. When you smash with the sword, it immediately takes you out of any other swing that you are committed to. So we'll show you, I'll show you again of the sword actually canceling out a swing. So we're going to go one, two, look at that. I activated it right when I was in midair right there and it ended up canceling the third swing. So that's another thing you guys have to be careful for is canceling out will happen if you swing too early with the smash. And that's why I've found this mission and I've recorded this for you so that you guys know not to make the same mistakes that I've made. And you can improve upon these. You can come up with your own tricks. And maybe, you know, this left right technique, you can find a way for me to use it in the raid, you know? See how the longer I do it, I'm progressively getting faster? That's not because I'm actually getting faster. It's just because I'm getting in the rhythm. And that's exactly why I found this mission for you and I recorded this for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to show you one last time how to swing forward smash and then a last swing on it. And then I'm going to tell you a little tip at the end about this mission just so you don't fret a little bit, all right? So we're going to go one, two, three, smash, five. All right, so I did three that time just to show you because this terrain's a little wonky, so that you're just gonna have to find different places to do it. And uh, here's another tip: we're gonna go kill this thrall real quick. He's he's asking for it. All right, there we go. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> All right, so if you drop the sword, don't fret. In a moment, it's gonna disappear, just like so. All right, and once it disappears, it will actually reappear right over here, and you'll be able to grab it again and go crazy with it. All right. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave a comment down in the section below. Subscribe, like, and have a great day, Guardians.